Good morning. We welcome you to Rings Creek Worship Center this April of 2020. And I'm just wondering if everybody has 2020 vision today. You know, we see a lot of things going on in this earth and this COVID-19 virus that's uh, sweeping the land right now. I think it's a beginning of signs that tell us that the end time is here. And just want to ask you this morning, have you had your eyes open? Are you ready? Are you ready to meet the Lord? This is the time to be, be aware of what's going on and what's happening in this land. Again, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us this morning. This is Easter Sunday, April the 12th, 2020. And we're so glad that you're here today with us. And we're uh, doing some new videos here. It's new for all of us and uh, excited. And maybe we can even reach the whole world with these videos, who knows? Mm -hmm. But we're glad you're here and joining us this morning. And now we'll open with prayer this morning. Father, we thank you so much for what you did on the cross of Calvary. And not only did you die for our sins, but you were raised from the dead on the third day. And resurrection life is what we have today when we know you. We praise you and we worship you. There is none like you, Lord. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. We ask now that you would bless each, each person that's watching this video today, that you would bless them, that you would open their eyes. May their hearts be opened. May the understanding of the Spirit of the Lord be upon them that they might be able to apply the word to their lives and be all that you want them to be. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor. We ask that you would just minister to his heart as he brings the message. Help him to have everything that you want him to have today. We praise you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Adam. Praise the Lord. God bless you, brother. The help. Praise the Lord. While Brother Dale was praying, the Lord made up my mind to hear where to preach from. So I'm going to be in St. John this, this uh, time, but I'm, I'm going to be in the third chapter. Uh, the Lord has been speaking to me today on the song. I'm not going to say, but I, I do have some words from this song that goes along with my message. And it, it says, I have found a friend in Jesus. Amen. The lily of the valley is what this is. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. And unless the Lord leads me to go back to that, that's all I'm going to say from that. But in this, the Lord, I believe he, he wants me to preach to ones that don't know Jesus out there that may be watching this. So I'm going to preach to you the plan of salvation that Jesus told Nicodemus about. And this is the way that we find a friend in Jesus. Amen. The Bible says you must be born again. Jesus said you must be born again. Yes. And uh, Nicodemus had problems of uh, understanding how that you can be born again. He said, can an old man enter into his mother's womb and be born the second time? This is a, a spiritual birth that we've got to have. You know, Amen. I believe that that is the greatest miracle that ever happens, even to raising the dead. I know that's a great miracle. But 
we're dead unless we know Christ Amen. as far as God is concerned. Amen. To know Jesus Christ, to have him as our personal Savior, that puts us in a place with God to where we become a family with him. A real family with God. And uh, I have found a friend in Jesus that is a true friend to me that is like he was to the disciples. And every one of us can have a relationship with Jesus just like Peter, James, John, even Thomas that had a some of us have got doubting spirits like Thomas had. And we have to see the evidence to believe that God has heard our prayer. Help us, Lord. And God don't intend for it to be that way. Amen. But Jesus, he, he had mercy on Thomas. And he appeared and he said, Thomas, see my see the nail scars in my hand? He said, come and put your finger in my side where they pierced me. So Jesus is a friend even when we get to the place to where we doubt him. I mean, he wants us to be faithful and true, but every one of us at some time or the other and I'm getting a little off my message right now. But every one of us have weak times when we uh, fail to trust God exactly. I mean, there's times like this virus that's going around now. It's going to put the world, unless it ceases, to a place to work we're going to need to trust in God. And uh, that's the reason I'm so glad that I've got a friend in Jesus. Yes. You know, he promised us that if we are born again, that we're going to be endued with power from on high. Amen. And this power came at his death, his birth, his resurrection, 50 days after that was the day of Pentecost. Yes, and uh, on that day, there came in, in the place where they was gathered in that room, the sound of a rushing mighty wind. And not only the sound came in, but uh, you could see it visually because it said there was cloven tongue of fire that was visible on the ones that was there. This friend that I'm talking about today is in heaven. He sits on the right hand of the Father. He sits at the throne of God. He's listening for our prayers. Amen but he's making intercessions for us as we talk to him. Yes. What a great thing it is. Let me read a little bit here and uh, maybe shout a little bit because I'm always in the spirit. Uh, this song come to me today and I've been in the spirit because of this. I've found a friend in Jesus. Amen. I mean, it comes alive in your spirit. Mm -hmm. It's not just words, but it's life. Amen. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And once that uh, you're, you turn to him and you're obedient to what he told Nicodemus, then you know what this life is that I'm talking about. It says, starting at the first verse. <clears throat> there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, 
Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou dost except God be with him. Oh, don't that make you hungry Amen. to be like him? I, I want to be I want to be what he wants me to be. And as I read this, it, uh, it makes it plain and clear that Jesus wants you more than what you want to belong to him. He wants you to come and join in the family of God. Yes, he does. I mean, this man that's the creator of the world, the creator of the universe, he wants you, whoever you are, I mean, wherever you are, wherever this is seen at, man, woman, boy or girl, if you're old enough to know right from wrong, Jesus wants you to become a Christian today. Mm -hmm. And that is to be obedient and seek him that says, uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And I guess I got a little ahead of myself and I've got a habit of doing that. But God, I, I let the Spirit of God talk to me and I preach the way God wants me to preach things. And I don't let it bother me whether I'm ahead of myself or what. I, I want to get the message out there that God wants God out. And as I start something I neglected to do the other time was talk to my church the way that I should. I miss every one of you guys. And I could call you by name, but I want to I want to tell you I miss you being here in these services. Amen. But one of these days, God's going to bring us back together here. Yes, amen. And we're going to have a great shout and service. Uh, and Brother Danny's always talking about how he can feel the Spirit when he walks in this place. He, he says there don't have to be anyone here. I know what he's talking about because Amen. I experience the very same thing when I walk in here. I walk in here and I want to shout because the Spirit of God is here so strong. And the, I miss Brother Aaron and his bass playing. I miss everyone that's in, in the uh, part of the service of praise, the praise service, singers, musicians, whatever. Uh, I miss everyone. Amen. And all I look forward to that day when everyone will be back. And I'm not going to call anybody else by name because I want to get on with this message. Last time, it was a lot longer than what I thought it was. And this time, it, I've probably already been going 10 or 15 minutes, but uh, uh, I want God to have his way Amen. in what I do. When I get up behind the pulpit, I get so wound up, and it's not me. It's the spirit of the Holy Ghost that lives in here. Amen. I really believe that he gets excited with people that will turn loose and, and let go and let him have his way. Amen. And that all oh, that's what used to get me excited in the church house when I walk in uh, when I was a sinner. If you're a sinner today, oh, I hope you're paying attention. I'd get so excited when the song part would start and I'd feel the Spirit of God start speaking to me down in here where he dwells at, Amen. in your soul. Amen. And uh, I enjoy that so much, the feeling, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, knowing that 
God is wanting me to be not a servant, but a friend. Amen. I mean, that's what he said in the 15th chapter, that he no longer called his servants, but, uh, but were his friends. Right. All that puts us on the uh, level with Jesus that uh, yeah. we don't deserve to be because I know the things that I've done in my life, but uh, I don't deserve to be Jesus' friend. Uh, but while I was a, a sinner, uh, Jesus walked by in a dream uh, just as plain as it could be, laid his hand on my back, and he said, Trust me, son. Uh, that's what he's saying to everyone in the world today. He's calling you. He said, Come unto me, Amen. all you that labor and are heavy laden. Amen. He said, take my yoke upon you, uh, for my ways are easy and my burdens are light. Amen. And he said, I'll give you rest. Amen. And uh, this, uh, I miss Jeanette being here because she tells me where I'm at. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I was at the sixth verse. That went to uh, the seventh verse. Marvel not that I said in, uh, to thee, you must be born again. <coughs> the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. All that puts us in to a completely different type of world than the natural world. This is talking about something spiritual here uh, that we have to look into uh, spiritually like if we could see in the wind. But uh, spiritually we can see after we're born again, uh, we can see into the ways of God. Uh, Jesus, uh, he said that uh, your ways are not my ways and my ways are not your ways. And, and this is the reason that we've got to be born again uh, so that we can get in the ways of yes, God amen. and so that we'll be acquainted with the ways of God uh, through the Spirit of God. Is, that's the way that we've got to be acquainted. Uh, you must be born again <clears throat> into the family of God because the natural man can't receive anything from God. That's right. Except that you feel him calling, uh, pulling at your heart Amen. to let you know that he wants you to be saved. Amen. I believe even people that say they don't believe in God, I believe if they get where the Spirit is really moving, uh, Brother Dale, I believe that uh, God is so strong uh, in the uh, spirit where that movement is really taking place that they can feel this down inside yes. of them. It, it might be something that they don't want to see. They might be like Thomas. They might say, I've got to have proof that uh, uh, this thing that uh, people say about God is real. They may want the real proof, but let me tell you something. Uh, the real proof comes in and saying, uh, Jesus, I need you because right. I know that I'm lost and undone Amen. and I need you. I need you to come into my heart and I, I want you uh, to take me over and I want you to be Lord of Lord and yes. King of Kings over my life and, yes. the, and I want to turn my ways around because my ways are not uh, your ways and I I want my ways to become uh, your ways yes. and uh, I want you to lead me the way that you want me to go yes. I mean that's the greatest miracle uh, that can happen to anyone uh, whether they know the Lord or if they don't know the Lord but to surrender that's completely right. and totally to him Amen. the Bible says Submit yourself unto God, and the devil will free, uh, flee from you. And I believe that that's a, well, it says resist him, and he'll flee from you. And uh, I believe that uh, that is a, a 
the truth today. I believe that we can uh, resist the devil and he does yeah. not have power over us. But That's I know right. that there's times who, uh, we're, when we're tested and tried and uh, I'm uh, preaching to Christians right now uh, that we have to uh, uh, really put our trust into God and to know and realize that uh, we're not strong enough to do it on our own. Uh, but if we'll turn to Jesus, he'll make the way That's for us. Right. He said, I am the way. Uh -huh. He said, I am the door. Yeah. I am the truth. He uh, said, amen. I am the light. I am the light. And he, he said, you enter into the kingdom through me. Oh, yes. what a great, great, great promise that that is. Amen. That uh, we have a Savior that came. I mean, this is Easter weekend. I need to say a little bit about that. Oh, he was resurrected yeah. on Easter Sunday according to Amen. history. I mean, I'm talking about Bible history uh, right now. He was resurrected on Easter Sunday. And uh, let me tell you, he appeared unto a lot of people while he was here before he ascended up Amen. to heaven. And I mean, I know and I believe that it's a true fact. I believe Jesus was our Lord and Savior. I believe he was crucified. I believe on the cross with his hands spread out, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You, and I Jesus. believe that he's still sitting on the right hand of the Father uh, there. I believe that they're shouting that every time that some sinner uh, turns uh, uh, to the Lord, I believe that they're shouting. I believe that they're the uh, 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 victorious spirit that, uh, that takes place in heaven uh, because one more of God's children has chosen and uh, uh, not really that they choose to accept him. He said, you didn't choose me. I chose you. Amen. And think about how important uh, that is that God uh, chose us uh, and that he started dealing the, uh, I don't know about you, but he started dealing with me uh, when I was a, a small child, five or six uh, years old. I almost knew then uh, that one day I was going to be a preacher and that I was going to stand and I was going to preach the gospel uh, for him. Oh, I tell you, the spirit is so uh, strong here uh, today Lord. that uh, uh, if you was standing here where I'm standing in this and you was experiencing what Hallelujah. I'm experiencing, uh, you would never want to leave this place, uh, not even to go home uh, to the finest dinner that uh, could be prepared. Uh, I mean, there's nothing that compares uh, to the Spirit of God. Uh, Jesus said you must be born again. I'm glad of the day that, that, or the night I walked to this old altar yes. and I accepted Jesus Christ the Lord. there. And then I was baptized down in the, in St. Francis River up by the park. And then I was filled with the Holy Ghost. I mean, <laughs> I was endued with that yes. power uh, from yes. on high. And I don't yes. mean to be offending anyone out there, but let me tell you, it's a real thing Amen. today. Amen. Speaking in tongues is a real thing. Yes. Because it's edification of the Holy Ghost, and I thank God for it. Amen. I may have been going long enough, I don't know. Uh, but praise the Lord, let me uh, read uh, that I think I was in the ninth verse. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Thou art a master of Israel, and knoweth not these things. Uh, he was uh, a well-educated man. He was a ruler over Israel, and yet he didn't know the ways of God. He didn't know that you must be born again. And Jesus opened this up to him, him being the ruler that he was. Uh, I mean, the, whoever you are, wherever you are, 
uh, uh, Jesus has given you that same invitation today. Uh, you must be born again. Amen. He's saying, come unto Amen. me. I'm the one that's got, uh, got this plan. And if you'll only come unto me and ask me, I'll change things in your life. Uh, you'll be changed from the natural man. Uh, you'll have this spirit that lives within you and you'll be a spiritual man from then on. Amen. Woman, man or woman. And, uh, and I just preach man most of the time because that's what the word of God says. Uh, but it says in heaven, there will neither be male nor female. Uh, there won't be any marriage uh, or given in marriage. Uh, that's what Jesus said. And uh, uh, I'm not saying everybody's going to be male there. It says there's neither male nor female. Uh, we're going to be God's children. Uh, we're going to be the bride of Christ. Uh, Oh, I can't wait to get there and uh, to get to the marriage supper. Uh, what a, a great, oh, a great coming together. Yes. A, a great reunion that's Amen. going to be to see people all up and down that table that you have known in your lifetime. And grandparents, like I've never known my grandparents to see my grandma's, my grandpa's there that was dead 15 years before I was ever born. Oh, couldn't ask for any more than that. And then the Lord of Lord and King of Kings walk by everyone and touch them with a touch that no doubt is going to set their soul on fire there in heaven. That Amen. there's going to be shouting like Amen. we've never seen in this Amen. place. Amen. And then the, the music that's going to be going on Amen. in heaven that's Amen. going to glorify God. And the, to see the throne of God there where the uh, sea of, the uh, song called it Sea of Blast, but it will be a sea of gold that clear. I mean, it'll be just as clear that gold is going to be pure gold. That the street, it's not streets, it's one street that's in the city of God that goes all the way through that city. And it's going to be pure gold. Amen. There's not going to be anything in it. If it was melted down, there wouldn't be anything like there is in gold that comes out of it. Uh, the dirt that comes out of it. There's not going to be anything in that gold. It's going to be clear as flax. Amen. But it's going to be gold. Mm -hmm. And you talk about what's going to be in heaven. Oh, I want to go there today. Amen. I want to go there. I'm 37 years ago. I, I made up my mind. I want to go to heaven. And Jesus, when I made up my mind, I want to go. Jesus was there to say, here I am, just trust in me. Amen. Then everything will work out just fine for you. Amen. Amen. Uh, verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that the, uh, we do know and testify that we have seen and you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Oh, I hope the ones that see this believes what I'm, uh, the message I'm giving you, I'm testifying to you, Amen. that God is the real God. Amen. For all the young people that's out there, you need God. That's the answer to the problems that you had. You need God just like an old man, 82 years old. Without God, I wouldn't want to be on Amen. this earth now. Amen. Because we've got real problems here. And I think that it's really great the way this country has come together and they're being obedient to the stay home order. I've 
I believe that we're helping to keep this from spreading by being obedient to the law. And we have to be obedient to the laws of the land. I'm for that altogether until it comes to where it goes against Christianity. Amen. And then I'm going to be a lawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> and my son and my grandson going to know all about it because I'm going to tell them. <laughs> but, oh, I thank God I'm getting very close here. And uh, I thank God because he is a Savior Amen. that has come to this earth. And he, he died on Good Friday. And he come back to life. He was resurrected Easter Sunday. And, uh, and I thank God for this miracle that yeah. took place back then. And I thank, thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he walked that old rugged path to the Garden of Gethsemane and he prayed alone in there until he sweated drops of blood. But he didn't let fear overcome him and him run from what he came to this earth to do. He came with a plan of salvation. Amen. This testament, this covenant that we're living in today, Amen. the New Testament, Amen. Jesus brought it to this earth and it took effect when he said it's finished hanging on the cross and the veil of the temple rent in height. That is when the new covenant started out. That's From right. that day on, we didn't need a priest, a high priest. Amen. He was our high priest. Amen. And I thank the Lord for that. Amen. I will close there. I hope I've preached this plain enough that everyone can understand today the plan of salvation. Amen. God bless everybody.